Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Sean Small, the owner and engineer here at Ruckus Composites. If you haven't checked out our other quarter tap test video, take a look. This one, we have a different mountain bike, different story, different reason why it's here. Uh, this one is an example of where the quarter test works. Uh, we'll zoom in in a little bit and show you that the bike's obviously visually damaged, but here's what it sounds like. Not a big difference, right? If you didn't have a trained ear, if you can't hear it that well, there's a little bit of a difference. Let me do the other side, it's a little more obvious. So there you can hear that dead spot. And yet again, we'll zoom in on it, we'll show you what it really looks like. Um, so it works only when it's obvious, and we'll show you, we'll show you soon. So here's that example that I was just tapping on. So it sounds dead, but you can actually see all those hairline cracks in it, and this was a pretty gnarly impact. Uh, welcome back. Uh, we wanted to take the same specialized mountain bike that has the obvious top tube damage we already talked about in our previous quarter tap test video, and we showed you what the damage really looked like. Uh, now I want to show you what ultrasound looks like and why we do it. It's a little more complex. It needs a little more uh, advanced user, I would say. But in general, how you do it is just like at a hospital. You perform or you apply your kind of ultrasound gel or jelly. Um, and what that does, it's a couplant. And that basically helps evacuate any air between your object and your transducer. And the transducer is the little device that puts out the signal and receives the signal for your screen for analysis. So we perform ultrasounds on almost all repairs that, and bikes that come through in general. And the reason is... It gives us, it helps us map the damage size, the damage extent, and it gives us an accurate thickness measurement of that area so that it tells our repair technicians how much to put in or how much to take out and how much to put back in. Uh, so as I go along, I hold the ultrasound like this and scan it and we'll show you a close up of what the screen looks like on this already damaged bike that we talked about. And we'll come on in and zoom in and I'll show you more. Um, so this bike is obviously very damaged around this area. And what we do is with the ultrasound, you take your transducer and you just slide it across. So right here, we're looking at a tube thickness of 1.5 millimeters. And that first initial spike, I guess that second one right there, that really is our paint and primer clear coat thickness. So yes, we can actually measure the paint thickness, but we don't need to. Um, so as we're going along the bike, you slide your transducer and you see how th similar the thickness is throughout. Then you see that little spike popping up what happens is we're starting to get into our damage zone. You can see those other spikes that represents other delaminations in our area. Hold on, as I lost a couple in there. Let me get back in, and you can see how we map this damage area out. The bike's very broken here on the top tube. There's no material thickness in cohesion at this point. So this is why we ultrasound. It gives us a better story, much more information, and it actually shows the damage extent. Otherwise, with the quarter tap test, when you tapped across here, it all sounds the same. You don't know otherwise. So thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, comment below in the YouTube thread. Uh, we're trying to grow this channel, so if you have any ideas of stories you'd like to hear more about, let us know. Or just subscribe and follow along to this channel as we talk more about bikes, carbon fiber, and bicycle science.